uh, we're just uh, interested in uh, you giving us a overview of who Pat Warner is. Okay. Um, I've lived in Santa Cruz like, since 82. Um, I've been married almost 38 years. I have family members I've taken care of through the years. Um, I personally, if I have a problem, I try to figure out how to solve it. I don't whine or cry about it. It's like we have a problem, we have to figure it out. Um, I try to get involved. When my son was younger, I worked at the schools and Cub Scouts and soccer and all that stuff. So when I see a problem, you know, if somebody needs some help, I try to help. I've donated stuff to the Sharing Center and Women's Horizon and, you know, food, clothing, whatever I thought, household stuff, you know, I've tried to, if I see a need, I try to figure out a way I can help personally or to get others involved. Because I believe if people work together, we can do a lot. But unfortunately, with this economy, a lot of people can't help financially, but I think, you know, if you volunteer, you can volunteer your time. There's other ways other than financial if you can't afford it. So that's been my philosophy. I've had strong women in my life, relatives that have taught me. They went through a lot of hard times and a lot of poor times, but you just figure out a way. And I'm not talking like they were poor like they couldn't buy a new car. I mean poor like food and, you know. So you just figure out a way to find a solution and work with others and talk to people and learn, you know, from them, whether different ages or what. But everybody has something they can teach you through life experiences. Thanks, Patty. Okay, Chris? Um, if you were appointed to the board, what would be your first, say, two set of goals or priorities that you would like to address? Two goals. Um, to try to, because the economy and people are hard up right now, and I know last I heard there was like 11 foreclosures, is ways that we can keep costs down but still keep the village functioning because people are hurting in with the sewer rates and garbage, you know, how we can help keep costs down but yet at the same time keep our services up. And the second goal is to keep small town atmosphere. I know we have to have growth in the village, but yet we've all moved here because we wanted the small town. We didn't want to live in Kenosha, Milwaukee, Chicago. So controlled growth, I guess, and yet still maintain the small town that we all love. As you said, we are in an economic crunch, hard times right now. How would you like to see the village save money if there's an area that, and I know you don't see the budget, you know, or anything right. like that, but just <clears throat> living here, seeing, being around, and all that, how would, is there anything that you can think of off the top of your head, brainstorming, that you could see the village saving money? I think if we got more people involved in the village, because I think a lot of people don't know that a lot of services, you know, get volunteers maybe, you know, let people like with your picnics, go around and say, you know, we need some donations for picnics. Not, you know, just businesses, but people next door, you know, our neighbors, you know, maybe you can't give $100, but 10 $5, you know, something to help that these services and with the sewer treatment plan, I've only known a little bit, you know, from coming to the meetings. I don't know the background, you know. I know with the water system we have on the west side, we have bonds coming up and the developers are not there now. I know that's going to be a concern. Um, to cut financing, but yet keep services, you know, I don't know that much about the background with our bills, you know, how much things cost. So to try to save where we can, I have been in that situation personally growing up and then being married where 
you have to cut corners somewhere, and yet you still need food on the table and pay your gas and electric and your, you know, other bills. But then you cut back on other things that are, you can't go to the movie or at the dinner, <laughs> you know. Okay, so instead of going out to dinner, you can cook on the grill or something. There's always a way that you can try and yet maintain your lifestyle. Thank you.